I'm deeply convinced that the work I do, which is mostly focused on international relations and particularly on Europe, is of huge political value, not only to my own country, but basically to the stability of our continent. And in a way that keeps, keeps me going. Although the political news day by day is not very encouraging, looking at the alternatives of, of giving up, of giving up thinking about better ways to, to organize um, the future of Europe, to find new ways of organizing peaceful interaction on a global scale, I think, you know, giving up that work would mean surrendering to the dynamics we see unfolding everywhere. And while the news day by day are sometimes discouraging or frightening, um, I believe that if we give in at this point where we haven't lost the battle, well, that would be a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I find it encouraging to speak with people who are in the same field, for instance, across the Atlantic in Washington, to find out how we can improve our work, how we can reach out in a better way, how we can be more open in our thinking to accommodate to a certain extent the needs and interests of those who actually actively work against the order we, we want to save. Um, and, and that all you know, still gives me encouragement to keep on going. Um, the other thing which is a very personal one is that I'm a mother of three and when I think about the future of my children, I of course want to do as much as I can to work on um, stability and, and peaceful, a peaceful world basically.